Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Just going to bring you a project update to let you know what we've been working on in the shop here for about the last uh, two weeks. We decided to go ahead and do something a little bit uh, simpler and kind of get back to the basics of modeling. And that is a box cock build. And that's something that we haven't done for uh, several years now as far as a, as a truck build. And what we're doing is the Mercedes-Benz uh, 1628 single axle day cab tractor. Pretty decent little kit. Originally released in uh, 1982, so it is starting to show its age. Uh, a lot of flash, uh, a lot of parts that are halves that don't quite fit together right have steps in them. But it, it takes a, a lot of uh, basics and, and, you know, I guess... Uh, Basically, it, it takes basic techniques to uh, make it come out, and we've been using a lot of them in this little build, but overall it comes out real well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and bring the camera down. I'll show you the uh, chassis and what stage it's at right now, and a few other things, and we'll go from there. Okay, there's the little... Uh, chassis for this model and like I say this is all box stock nothing has been added to it we'll move in here a little bit see if the camera will focus in on some of the stuff uh, first off we'll go to the uh, the engine and like I say this is the uh, kit engine with no detail added to it uh, just as it came in the box as soon as my camera cooperates that looks a little better you can see the uh, oil washes and, you know, some of the dry brushing and what else do we have going on there? Uh, the oil wash that's down in there, a little bit of rust tones, a little bit of, uh, you know, the black uh, oily tones. So coming along real well. I've been doing a lot more of the uh, enjoying the weathering process of my models here over the last uh, couple of years really starting to enjoy um, doing the weathering part of it normally my builds are all uh, showroom fresh you know real clean like they just come off the showroom floor we're starting to do a little bit you know different stuff now venturing out a little bit we'll get zoomed in here on the back of it you can see some of the chipping that we're doing uh, that's all done you know with a uh, very small brush and Vallejo paints and some of the streaking that's on there, you can see the uh, oil uh, wash that we put on the fifth wheel to simulate the grease. And I'm trying my best to get the camera to zoom in here, you know, just bear with me on it. It's not the best camera in the world, but there you can see the airbags that we did in flat black with a little bit of a powder over them to create a dusty effect. And all the edges and stuff are, you know, kind of chipped and beat up a little bit. Because this would be an older tractor, you know, if it was, uh, you know, a mo you know, a tractor that's on the road today, it would be uh, getting some age to it. So uh, we're trying to uh, represent that. We're not trying to beat it up real bad, but uh, just its normal wear and tear that it would have over the years. And we did some weathering on the wheels, and I still have some more to do on the tires. Uh, they're not quite up to what they need to be. I won't do all my final weathering until after. Uh, we get the cab and everything mounted on the chassis and get all that up and, you know, running. And But we'll move on to this side here. You can see some of the streaking I'm starting to put on the fuel tanks. Uh, they're not done yet. they got a long ways to go. But uh, it, it's coming out pretty good. We're real happy with it. You know, a fairly simple build. Pretty clean. Um, as, as far as, you know, the work that we're doing to it, I'm real happy with it. There was a lot of seams and a lot of cleanup to do. A lot of gaps to fill, so uh, real happy with, with where we're at. And I don't have the uh, engine and transmission glued in this yet. You can see the white drive shaft there. That's still in uh, kit plastic. Uh, we have to go in and uh, finish painting that up and weathering that. So I've just got the engine and transmission and drive shaft sitting in the chassis. So that's why the drive shaft is white for all you uh, real keen-eyed guys out there that noticed that. Next, we got the uh, the little cab. Uh, this is actually sprayed with uh, Tamaya British Racing Green straight out of the can. Nothing special. 
The only uh, airbrush work that we've done to this so far, as far as the cab, is the black trim around the windows. And the decals on this are uh, kit decals. What came in the box, actually in the exact location that they wanted them. And let's see if we can get zoomed in here a little bit. Uh, we used a micro saw on this one. You can see how it drew down in all of the uh, door you know, jams and all the recesses. And how they wrapped around everything real nice. Down in the panel lines, everything looks real good there. So the decals we were real happy with. They come out real nice. And we still got some more work to do on the glass. The glass is uh, one of the biggest uh, fitment issues that I found so far with this kit. And we've had to uh, do a lot of work to the glass. Still have some gaps to fill. If you look real close right here in this corner, there's actually a gap where the, uh, the windshield itself is smaller than the cab. So we got to go in and, and do some filling in there and then do a uh, black wash on that. But it's coming along pretty good. We're, we're not complaining. Next up, we have uh, something that I've never done before. Uh, this is the little interior bucket. And in this one, we went in and used uh, a decal for the pattern on the seats, which is a first for uh, Showtime Studios. But come out pretty good. That micro saw really pulled everything down into the detail, made it look good. And you can see the same pattern on the bottom of the door panels. Uh, same thing on this side here. And we just did this with uh, Tamayo Acrylics. It's actually uh, two different browns mixed together and shot with the airbrush. Still have a lot more weathering and stuff to do on the interior. I still have to paint the other seat yet and decal it. So still got a lot more work to do on that. Uh, you'll see a couple injector pin marks right there in the front and a couple more back here. One underneath of the seat there on the seat base. Uh, those will not be visible when the model is complete, so uh, we do not mess with those. And what else do we have? Well, over here in the corner, we have some of the uh, other parts that have uh, been up to certain stages of completion. The ones in the foam there are getting real close to being done. Uh, you can still see some of the uh, kit parts laying there that are still in white. Uh, they haven't been touched yet, other than being glued together. Still got to clean the halves and everything up. But uh, overall, it's coming out pretty good. We're real happy with it. So I just wanted to do a video, bring everybody up to date on what we've been working on lately. Uh, this model, we're planning on debuting it at our final show of the season, coming up on the 22nd of this month. And we'll kind of gauge and see how it does, see how it's received, and, you know, if guys like it. And we'll go from there. And then we'll get started when we get back from that show. We're cleaning up the bench. We're going to get started on our brand new super detailed build for uh, next year's shows for the uh, heavy commercial category. So uh, I'll be doing videos on that along the way. So stay tuned for that. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for the interest in the uh, Gary uh, Ruby auctions that we're doing. Trying to raise some money for Gary to help him out in a tough time. Uh, we do have some uh, bids in on it. I want to thank everybody that has bid and for the interest in that. We're trying to do, uh, you know, something good, and I think that was a good cause to uh, help Gary out as much as we can. So I, I want to thank all my subscribers, uh, new ones, old ones, um, all the guys that stuck in there and hung with me, all your new guys that just got on board. We're going to start uh, hopefully, you know, turning out a few more videos as the uh, weather gets colder. So stay tuned for them. Probably going to be doing some more uh, tutorials, some more, um, you know, build videos, things like that. So if you're interested, uh, definitely check us out. So that's about all we've got for now. Just wanted to do an update, let everybody know what was going on. And uh, I would like to say thanks again for uh, the, um, you know, interest in the auctions for Gary Ruby. Uh, I want to thank everybody for subscribing and watching Showtime Studios. And that's about it. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.